All right, so this level two functional skills question is a bit of a beast. Uh, there's a lot of words, there's a lot of work to do. It's worth six marks, so if we can get it right, it will pay off. Um, let's give it a read through and see what we have to do. Donna owns a company. She has this information about the annual wage of each worker. Uh, and then there's the information. Each worker is paid for working 35 hours a week for 48 weeks of the year. Donna will increase the hourly rate of the worker with the lowest annual wage. The new annual wage for this worker will be 60% of the median wage for her company. Donna needs to work out how much to increase the hourly rate of the worker with the lowest wage. Work out the increase in the hourly rate for this worker. Okay, loads of stuff we need to do. We need to work out the median wage for the company and then find 60% of it. That's what's said here. Um, we need to work out um, the hourly rate of both the lowest paid worker and then um, the 60% the, the, the median amount. We need to find the hourly rate instead of the annual rate. And then we've got to find the difference between them to work out the, the increase in the hourly rate. So loads to do, but let's just take it piece by piece uh, and see if it comes together. First, I want to work out the hourly rate of the worker with the lowest annual wage. Okay, so let's find out the current hourly rate of the worker with the lowest annual wage. And that, uh, these have been given in order, these are in size order for us, which will help us later. But this is the worker with the lowest hourly rate. But he's, that's, the, that's his annual wage, that's his yearly wage. That's what annual means, annual means yearly. So let's work out his hourly rate, which means we need to know how many hours he works. Now, if he works 35 hours a week for 48 weeks of the year, then 35 times 48 tells us how many hours this person works in a whole year. Their annual wage is 15,675. That's for a whole year. So if we divide that by how many hours they work, that tells us how much they get paid in one hour. So this person gets about £9.33 per hour. Just checking all my numbers there. That looks good. Okay. So this is obviously a long, long decimal, but we're going to call that six pound ninety. Sorry, nine pound thirty-three, because nine pound thirty-three is this number to the nearest penny, and we can't do money to more than two decimal places. So that is the current hourly rate of this worker. Now his new salary is going to be based on the median wage for her company. So we're going to have to find the median wage so we can find sixty percent of it. Now the median is the middle number when your numbers are in size order. Like I said, they've already given these in size order for us, which is gonna help us out. So we just have to find the middle number. So if I cross off from both ends, that's one. There's two crossed off, three crossed off, four crossed off, five crossed off. There is our median. But we need to, but, but like it says in the question, the new annual wage for this worker is 60% of the median wage. So we need to find 60% of the number that we just identified as the median. Now for our own working out, I'm going to note that the median was 28,500 pounds. So we have to find 60% of that number um, because that's gonna be the new salary for this person. Uh, there are different ways of finding 60%. Um, if you were doing it non-calculator, you might find 10% by dividing by 10 and then multiply that by six because 10% times six will be 60%. But because we're using a calculator, I'm going to do it the same way I'd usually recommend doing a percentage on a calculator. We're going to take our number, divide it by 100, and that's going to give us 1% because a percent is out of 100. So dividing by 100 is 1%. But we want 60%, so we times that number by 60. And that is 60% of the median, which means that is the new salary for our lowest page worker our lowest paid worker. So that's his new salary. Um, but this whole question is about the hourly rate. So that might be his new annual salary because it says the new annual wage for this worker will be 60% of the median. So the new annual wage is this number we've just found, but the whole question is about hourly rate. So we're gonna to need to find the hourly rate if this is his salary. Now we worked out earlier that each person works for 1,680 hours a year. And if this is his annual salary, then like we did last time, we divide that, we split it into how many hours he worked to work out that his new hourly rate is 10.178571 pounds an hour. But we have to work out the increase in the hourly rate. So this, let me label some more, some more of the stuff we did. 
This is his new hourly rate. And this up here was his old hourly rate. So uh, the question says, work out the increase in the hourly rates for this worker. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the decimal because it's already in my calculator and I need to find the difference or the increase between that and our old number, which is his old salary, which is £9.33-ish an hour. I am at the moment going to put in these decimals. Um, I will round my answer at the end because like we spoke about before, we can't give money to more than two decimal places because that's to the nearest penny and you don't get half of a penny. So this is the difference in his wage. Um, it's gone up by this many pounds, but we just talked about how we can't give decimal, we can't give money to more than two decimal places. So that looks like it's like 84, 85 pence. Our answer wants it in pounds, so it's going to be naught point. Um, but let's look at that number real quick. We have to round that to two decimal places. Um, at the moment, it's got loads and loads of decimal places. So what is it? Two decimal places. Well, we want it to stop there we want it to stop after two decimal places but if we look at the next number which is an eight here that is big enough that it pushes the four up to a five that's what we sometimes say so the 0 0.84 goes up to 0 0.85 because that's more accurate two decimal places because of rounding so the increase in the hourly rate is 85 pence or 0 0.85 pounds that's it big question so let's quickly run through all the, all the many things we had to do for this question. We had to identify the lowest paid person, which was fairly easy, it was just the first person in the list. But then we had to work out his hourly rate. And we did that by first working out how many hours he works a year, and then taking his annual or yearly wage and dividing that by how many hours he works. So his old hourly rate was £9.33. We then found the median, which was fairly straightforward because the numbers were already in order. The median is the middle number, so we found the middle. Um, we then worked out the 60% of that because the, his new annual wage was 60% of the median. So we found 1% by dividing by 100 times that by 60 to get 60%, which was his new salary because it's 60% of the median. We then worked that out as an hourly rate because we've got to compare their hourly rates. And we then found the difference between them, leaving them as decimals for now. Um, found the difference between them, gave it to two decimal places because that's all you can give money to and we worked out that his increase in hourly rate was 0.85 pounds. So really big question, really quite tough, loads of words, but with questions like this, there's normally something you can do to start getting marks. For example, if we'd have found the median, that's probably a mark. Even if we didn't know how to do anything else in the question, the fact that it says the median wage for her company, we could have found that. Maybe you could then also find the 60%. Even if you don't know how to finish the question, there's normally something fairly straightforward you can do to start getting you there. Okay, cool. So hope that helped. Uh, that was a big beast of a question. If you're ready for it, on to the next one.